Hello traders at CMC Markets. This is Trevor Neal of RRG Research and this update is on the morning of the 11th of January. We start by looking at the daily uh, relative rotation graph of the indices we're going to cover today which are the DAX, the FTSE, the S&P, the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. Looking at the position, we've got only the Dow Jones at in the leading quadrant. We know this is also flirting with its highs. We've got the S&P moving in and in is in the improving quadrant, looking like it might head into the leading quadrant, also flirting with its high. We've got the FTSE, which looked a little bit promising, but has now turned decidedly southerly and loss of momentum completely, possibly aborting this improving condition that we've been seeing. The Nasdaq is in the familiar place of the lagging quadrant, but it's it's pushed up a bit, so it's moving upwards. So in, on a relative basis, an improving momentum. And then over here on the DAX, we've got in the improving quadrant, heading in a northeasterly direction. That's a good direction, but it's still way over behind the other indices here. But the direction is good in this one, and it was one that we favoured when we did this the update yesterday. You remember it was the Dow and the DAX that we like most, but this was based on the direction. But we're joined by the S&P today in the group that we favour in particular. Now we're moving uh, across the RRG from left to, so from weakest uh, JDK RS ratio to strongest. The weakest was the, the DAX, but the direction of it was very good. We favoured it. Uh, we saw that how close we were to the breakout point, And here it is here, 16,700. As I speak now on the openings in Europe, we're bursting through it. This is a very positive thing. Gives us a good base there now. We like the look of it at the time. And we're heading towards the high here at 16,961. Just a glance back, see here, we've got another high to deal with, which is at the actual high is at 17,000, the big round number. Two tops in place, close together there, but it looks as though we've got good impetus on the upside here. The break point, I wouldn't be afraid of, of, of the gap that we're seeing here. Yes, normally there's an attempt to fill this gap. You could wait uh, for that, but the danger is of really missing participating. The MACD has turned positive again, and the RSI, is, is very strong indeed and we looked at the stochastic and the stochastic has already given a buy signal. So we like this because of the direction and the position it's in on a relative basis, catch up potential from this index. The S&P and the FTSE in terms of the JDK RS ratio were um, very close together um, uh, but uh, the direction of the momentum was the opposite here and um, we've got falling uh, momentum it has the FTSE has got an incredible amount of resistance to deal with I'm bringing in uh, a lot of data here all this is above us here now and then we've got shorter term red resistance lines there there's a lot of ground to get through for this market it's going to struggle it is impressive how it held support and uh, that is good and we are having a very strong opening this morning not yet crossed the MACD the RSI is very strong indeed and those short-term traders did manage to get a little buy signal there but there's so much head headwind in this I think it's the least attractive uh, thing it's not like the DAX in a catch-up mode at all really it's just um, being dragged down by really churning away sideways so let's quickly move on next we're looking at the Nasdaq the hourly chart again and this one you will remember was in the actually in the lagging quadrant but turned up in a good direction and that's what is actually actually happening here it's moving up strongly a little bit of loss of momentum here as we approach the high at 16,900 but it is going up we are making higher highs and higher lows giving more levels of support the direction is upward the 
RSI, it's not powering ahead strongly, particularly it is, but it is going up. So I think the uh, the Nasdaq is going up. It is heading back towards its high, although it may have not have quite the power to burst through and make a, a new high. I think it is going to begin to struggle. Looks as though it's losing momentum on the upside. So for me, not such an attractive proposition as what we're the ones we're going to look at. Now the S&P, you will remember, is in the improving quadrant and heading northeasterly. So with momentum, looking as though it may uh, uh, move into the leading quadrant. It's heading uh, directionally towards it. Now look at where it is, right at its highs. So we're testing it. We're having some convulsions here at it. We level to watch is a break of uh, 4,790. 95 uh, area. We've got this candle here yes, yesterday um, with um, a rejection. Though it was a black candle, we spiked down and um, rejected the lower levels and trying again. There is still power on the upside. Uh, the MACD is saying that too. Uh, the RSI is pretty strong. It's uh, We've got high here, we've got high, but only just high. It's It looks as though it's going to struggle with this top. But the background is that it is bullish and it should keep on going. And we see in the RRG chart how good it looks there. So we're at a stumbling block and it does look as though we're not going to blast through it in the immediate term, but I think it will eventually break it. So how you strategize that, I'm not too sure. We've got some good support at 4,000. Uh, 77, so if we said 72, something like that, as a protective level for any longs you have in here to try and get long before the breakout, because once the breakout occurs, it's going to jump hard, isn't it? And it's going to it'll be obvious to everybody that it is going up. That's a little bit of a tricky trade, but because once it clears, it will be very clear to the whole world that it is going up. And finally, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which is my favourite and has been uh, for a while. So we had that uh, bit strong uptrend that has been broken, but because we didn't deviate from the uptrend much, the uh, pullback was modest. And so when we broke the uptrend line, very few people, hardly anybody, had paid a higher price. So everybody was a profit taker and so the sell-off here uh, was really just on profit taking no, not liquidation not people taking losses the extent of it was approximately the maximum deviation this side so this is a classic as far as i'm concerned and this is going into my album of beautiful chart patterns so we're in the pausing phase but we're just under the high here but as it's going i think about to become very obvious in a moment that it is breaking up and once that is the case that it could potentially jump but i think we're already on our way up the macd is negative but the gap is closing but don't forget that is a lagging indicator the rsi has broken the downtrend of the rsi which was our warning of a top the bearish divergence we saw high higher high high lower high then break of the uptrend line now the downtrend line through the RSI has been broken and we've got an uptrend actually in the RSI. This is constructive and I would like to think uh, that uh, some of you will be long as a result of that. There is a clear protection level which is within a man manageable amount, 37,252 and the big support and the defining pattern of rising lows is down at 37.0 but we're flirting with the high watch out for fireworks if 37.789 gives way anytime soon and a final look at the stochastic which I had mentioned before that has, has turned up we got an early signal that's right in here that we got the signal my favorite remains uh, the Dow it has been for quite a long time DAX is, is now I like uh, two the S&P I also too, I didn't, but now I do. And as well, NASDAQ, worried about poor old FTSE. Just, it's, it's a dog, really. Okay, it's not even going down. That's the thing, it's just really churning around sideways. Thank you very much indeed, everybody. I do hope you find this useful. Wish you the very best and may the trend be with you. Goodbye.